Will you not follow them? I think not. Pray let us. I have a reason. You're not jealous? Of whom? Of Mirabeau. If I am, is it inconsistent with my love to you that I am tender of your honour? You would intimate then, as if there were a fellow feeling between my wife and him. I think she does not hate him to that degree she would be thought. But he, I fear, is too insensible. It may be you who are deceived. It may be so. I don't now begin to apprehend it. What? That I've been deceived, madam, and you are false. That I am false? What do you mean? Come, you both love him, and both have equally dissembled your aversion. Your mutual jealousies of one another have made you clash till you've both struck fire. You do me wrong. I do not. It was for my ease to oversee and willfully neglect the gross advances made by him by my wife that by permitting her to be engaged I might continue unsuspected in my pleasures and take you oftener to be my, in my arms in full security. But could you think, because the nodding husband would not wake, that ever the watchful lover slept? And wherewithal can you reproach me? With infidelity, with loving another, with love of Mirabel. It's false. I challenge you to show an instant that can confirm your groundless accusation. I hate him. And wherefore do you hate him? He is insensible, and your resentment follows his neglect. An instance? The injuries you have done him are a proof. You are interposing in his love. What cause had you to make discoveries of his pretended passion? My obligation to my lady urged me. I had professed a friendship to her, and could not see her easy virtue so abused by that dissembler. What? Was it conscience then? Professed a friendship? Oh, the pious friendships of the female sex. Oh, more tender, more sincere, and more enduring than all the vain and empty vows of men, whether professing love to us, or mutual faith to one another. <laughs> You are my wife's friend too. Shame and ingratitude! Do you reproach me? You upbraid me! Have I been false to her through strict fidelity to you and sacrificed my friendship to keep my love inviolate? And you have the baseness to charge me with the guilt, unmindful of the merit. To you it should be meritorious that I have been vicious, and do you reflect that guilt upon me which should lie buried in your bosom? You misinterpret my reproof. I meant but to remind you of the slight account you once could make of strictest ties when set in competition with your love to me. It's false. You urged it with deliberate malice. It was spoken in scorn and I'll never forgive it. Your guilt, not your resentment, begets your age. If yet you loved, you could forgive a jealousy but you are stung to find you are discovered. Aye, it shall all be discovered. You too shall be discovered, be sure you shall. I can but be exposed. If I do it myself, I shall prevent your baseness. Why? What will you do? Disclose it to your wife. Own what has passed between us. Frenzy. By all my wrongs, I'll do it. I'll publish to the world the injuries you have done me, both in my fame and fortune. With both, I trusted you. You bankrupt in honour, as indigent of wealth.